We have two tractors that are always in operation. It starts in the spring and doesn't stop till winter. This tractor is so reliable that the service team comes only for maintenance operations. It seems like Fent has discovered a new service philosophy. Only the maintenance you need, nothing else. I have been in agriculture for as long as I can remember. The idea of a farmland is very close to me. I was born and raised in a village. I can't imagine living any other way. Soil is like a magnet. It draws you in. And if you've touched it, you can't help but love that land. You feel Mother Earth as a true mother. You will never want to leave this place. This is a special, never-ending love. Mangazea Agro launched a new project in 2020. 4,500 hectares were cultivated and sown in 2020, and another 4,000 hectares were prepared for sowing in the following year, which we have started sowing this year. The plans are to have this work done by June 5th, which means about 5,000 hectares will be sown this year. Our export crops, linseed oil, spring grape, oats, as well as grains, spring wheat, and barley. We will try to grow soybeans here. We will sow 200 hectares of soybeans. Currently, the price for crops that can be grown in Transbaikal and give fair yield is quite favorable. These are spring rape, linseed oil, and oats. They are export-oriented crops. The price for them is quite high, high farming standards and agricultural technology make these crops profitable. One of the biggest issues is the lack of infrastructure. There are only two silos in the whole of the Transbaikal territory. But in regions with a similar crop area, 200 would be standard. The logistics are challenging, but exporting is simple, because we are on the border with China. The goal is to cultivate another 7,000 hectares this year after the sowing campaign is complete. The tremendous scope of this work was performed by two Fent 1038 Vario tractors. Fent tractors were chosen mainly for the combination of two parameters, reliability and performance. The nearest dealership or service center is 3,000 kilometers away. But the tractor is so reliable that the service team comes only for maintenance operations. They show up, do the maintenance, and leave. It seems Fent has discovered a new servicing policy. The only thing you need is maintenance. Nothing else. We believe we've made a good choice here. The tractor takes care of itself. It's reliable. For example, when adjusting the speed parameters, it will always reduce the speed and switch to those parameters that prevent anything that could cause equipment breakdown. That's important. Our fuel has to be delivered here. Once, a bit of water got into the fuel. Our seemingly reliable new Kamas tractor broke down right away. The injectors broke, so we had to replace the engine cover too. But our Fent tractor gave a warning about water in the fuel, separated it, and discharged the water into the sump. 
We drained it and kept driving. After that, there have been four maintenance operations. It's still running, and there are no problems with excessive fuel consumption, no unwanted sounds. In fact, just yesterday, the service team left us after diagnostics. The tractor is in good order. It protects itself against any misuse by the operator. It avoids overloading. Everything is well thought through. And naturally, the tractor is constantly in operation. You see, it starts in the spring and goes on through till winter. We work around the clock. Reliability takes on a whole new meaning here. Thirteen and a half thousand hectares cultivated in 2,000 hours. These figures are mind-boggling. This requires absolute reliability of the machine working at the highest speed. Two tractors for such a project as ours. If we convert the performance and horsepower equivalent, we need to multiply by a factor of two or even three.